If you remember when the internet came with DSL uh, at home, it was basically a breakthrough. We, we, were, we had the feeling that the home is connected now to a, let's say, a bigger ecosystem. And the same is about to happen now in the chemical industry with Ethernet. I mean, Ethernet is not new in, in the industry, but in, specifically in the process industry with the hazardous area, the normal Ethernet couldn't be used because it's not intrinsic safe. You have a um, harsh environment, you have vibration, you have uh, a wide temperature range, there is EMC from motors and drives around. And uh, to establish a, a, a safe or a robust communication was really a challenge. But this is what an industry consortium achieved together with semiconductor vendors. And uh, we can see when we compare this to earlier attempts uh, of uh, the traditional field bus, that the communication over APL, this advanced physical layer, is much more robust and, and the quality level is a very different one. The, the first one uh, where we entered uh, the, the market with Ethernet is basically, you see here in the background, which is a flow meter, a Coriolis flow meter. And uh, the, we started with the, with the Coriolis because it provides a lot of additional data, but could not be uh, uh, read from the, from the instrument before. Uh, it, it can measure the temperature, um, a concentration, etc. But there was only one of these values you had to decide, okay, I want to read this. And with Ethernet now, the customer has access to all the values. So this saves um, a lot of measurements because there's more integrated in the same device. And, and then you can uh, extend the calibration cycles, which is a direct saving in, in money because calibration means typically get out the instrument uh, and um, stop the process. But uh, AI is a game changer in itself. And uh, beside the computation power you need in the data centers for AI and the cleverness of the algorithms, there is one key thing where instrumentation plays an important role, that's data. AI can't do anything meaningful without data. And uh, industry sensors in a plant are a perfect source for, for data because it's 24 hours, uh, seven days a week collection of data. Uh, over years, so you have a vast ocean of, of data available. There is an optimization needed, energy efficiency, base products consumption. So I, I remember in the in the earlier days, the, the consumption of cooling water was no one counted; it was just there. Today, all the plants where 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 I visited in the in the last two years, they said we have a program. We need to save energy also by providing cooling water or steam. So. The energy prices and the resources uh, uh, at all is basically a, a driver for can we save stuff with uh, more intelligent systems and, and if you run the process at a lower temperature or at a higher pressure might have a huge impact to the efficiency of the plant. Mm -hmm.